MGTV, and this is 5 Minutes with Cole. One of my favorite riffs of all time to play, it's a bit of a niche one, I don't think a lot of other people are going to say this, but the 2005-2006 album from Bull For My Valentine called The Poison, the title track, has a really cool riff in the outro that I really like, and it doesn't repeat anywhere else in the song, but it's always stuck with me. And the riff goes like this. <laughs> Just like that. Short and sweet. What riff should every guitar player know how to play? I feel like everyone's probably gonna say this one, but I'm just gonna double down on it. Crazy Train by Ozzy Osbourne. It's one of the first songs that I ever learned all the way through. Um, was very rewarding to learn all the way through because it does have some pretty tricky parts, but I think it's a, it's a great, iconic, catchy riff that um, you know, you can either down pick the whole thing or you can alternate pick it, but I think it's gonna challenge a beginner's skills and kind of show them what they can really do. And it goes like this. Okay, I'm gonna do this on hard mode because I'm in drop D right now. That's crazy train on hard mode. <laughs> Um, specifically from Kiesel. So this is my signature guitar with Kiesel. Um, they call it the CR6, and you can get this in matte black or matte white. I call them Midnight and Moonlight. And it's kind of based off of that like super strat, kind of like rocky metal vibe. Um, and this is a DC body from Kiesel, but I've kind of grown up playing like Stratocasters, Ibanez Prestige series, and then that was all before I partnered up with ESP, and it's, it's kind of just been super strats my whole life. I've always just kind of gravitated towards this look. Most memorable live performance moment of all time. Um, it's between two, but if I have to pick one between these two, uh, it would be the time that I did guest guitar for a big electronic artist called Elenium, and that was my first experience playing in an arena. It's my first experience with Pyro and Sparks and CO2 and all the all the fun stuff. And that was an extremely, extremely like just standout experience. Definitely one of my career highlights so far. One pedal that I can't live without if if I had all of them stripped away from me. Um, I'm gonna go with my Slash Signature Dunlop Wah. Love that thing, I use it all the time. Um, it's a very like, I find it to be like a very inspiring pedal too. Like even if I just put, you know, like a, a riff that I'm working on through that and just see what it sounds like, it can just, it can spark some new ideas.